Begin tonight with what could be a game changer in this year's elections in Pennsylvania. We learned Monday about a leaked draft opinion by the U.S. Supreme Court concerning Roe v. Wade, which protects women's reproductive freedom. The politics of abortion could determine some key contests this year. From your local election headquarters, 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us live now in the Control Center. Madonna. Mark, abortion rights are on the ballot this year. The United States, the U.S. Senate race and state governor's race could have a big impact on those rights that now appear to be in jeopardy. An energized crowd of voters welcomed Attorney General Josh Shapiro to Luzerne County Democratic Party headquarters Saturday in Wilkes-Barre. Shapiro is running uncontested in the May 17th Democratic gubernatorial race. During his campaign stop, he discussed the potential of Roe v. Wade being thrown out by the United States Supreme Court. It is obviously incredibly scary and frustrating and worrisome. Uh, I feel that. My wife feels that, our 20-year-old daughter feels that. Shapiro vows to veto any bills banning abortion that come across his desk if elected governor. Should the Supreme Court overturn the landmark decision allowing a woman's right to choose, 50 years of precedent would be dismantled. Things have changed dramatically, and for them to do that, to suggest that the woman doesn't have that right, is abhorrible. While the bombshell revelation may not have much impact on the upcoming primary election, it could be a game changer for the November midterms. This issue attacks women directly, and I think that supercharged the election. It's, it is going to be a major factor in this election. Abortion could still remain legal in the Keystone State even if Roe v. Wade is dismantled, but it might all come down to who will call the governor's mansion home for the next four years. What is clear is that this governor's race will be the pivotal decision as to whether or not a woman's right to make choices over her own body continue in Pennsylvania. Just this week, the governor of Oklahoma signed into law new abortion restrictions, but in Pennsylvania, Governor Tom Wolf has vetoed three different anti-abortion bills introduced by Pennsylvania lawmakers during his two terms. Mark, back to you. Madonna, thanks.